Now that Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard has announced she won't seek re-election next year as she runs for the Democratic presidential nomination, it opens the door for a competitive race for her District 2 seat. It also leaves us wondering what's next for this veteran of the Iraq War who served with the Hawaii Army National Guard. Nikki Shenfeld spoke with political experts and joins us with more. Nikki? Joe, political analysts call the move interesting, and even though her chances at the Oval Office are low, they say she still might have something else she's considering. Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard told KHON2 this morning she's focusing on her presidential race. I'm committed to doing my best to be of service where I feel I can do the most good, and given the challenges that we face, both in Hawaii and across our country and in the world, I believe that I can best be of service as president and commander-in-chief. Experts say Hawaii typically votes for incumbents to stay in office, and her only competition so far was Hawaii Island Senator Kai Kahele. She had a safe seat. I don't buy the scenario that she was going to lose. She was going to have a race this time, but she wasn't going to lose. She said she wanted to make the announcement now so Hawaii can have more choices when it comes to filling her seat. Now a lot of people are going to run. Is it going to be former congresswomen, former people in the Hawaii Senate, former people in the Hawaii Congress? We'll have to see. Senator Kahale, who made his announcement for Congress in January, says he's pleased with where his campaign stands. You know, I'm not jumping into the race now because of political convenience. You can't just parachute into the second congressional district overnight. You know, it takes a lot of time and effort to campaign statewide across uh, the eight Hawaiian Islands. It's what we've been doing for the last 10 months. And while experts don't see Tulsi in the next presidential debate, she could be moving on to other things. What's in her future? A cabinet position, the VA, ambassadorship to India. Possibly, but what we do know is she doesn't stay in one place very long and she goes upward constantly. She's not afraid of the long ball. She'll throw it. She's throwing it now. Where to? Nobody knows. And former state senator and lieutenant governor candidate Jill Takuda could be one of those possible candidates. Her campaign told us she is exploring her options and will certainly give it great thought, but she's not ready to make a decision yet. Joe? Thanks, Nikki.